got killed in a car accident. My, uh, my sophomore year at Alabama. And then I have my granddaddy. I got his face with diamonds around it. Oh, it's hard. It's hard. And that's, that situation was crazy because I lost my granddaddy three weeks after I got rid of that. I can actually know him like, like a month. From Bama or from high school? From Bama. Mm. He got to see me graduate high school, but then he saw me graduate college, man. And and it's and it's crazy, man. I, I had to I had to bury my my granddaddy's oldest son, my uncle, this weekend. Yeah, I mean, my dad's true. brother, man. So that was really tough, man. And I had to be there for my family. My grandma, she handled it well as you can handle it. You know, you lost your husband and your firstborn, the legacy, the one that the one that made you yeah. a parent. Yeah. Like that's yeah. that's tough. I, I I can only imagine. But it's it it's funny how things work out. Man. Because you would think for instances that's just that type of bad if you just just thinking about it and seeing it out mm-hmm. loud. Yep. But usually they the folks that you think would break down the most would be the soldiers for everybody. Yep, but that's the thing. They they don't break down in front of everybody. That's true. They do it behind yeah. closed yeah, you doors. Gotta, man. You gotta be there around. Them. And my uncle did it, my um so I got three uncles left on that side. I got my uncle Chris. Actually I got two. My uncle Chris. And then my uncle Ray Phil, cause it's five of them. So my uncle Ray is the oldest who died. Mm-hmm. Then it's my uncle Chris. Then it's my uh, my dad. Then it's my auntie Kim. And it's my uncle Ray Phil. He played professional basketball overseas, but he played at Clemson too back in the day, man. And um, hey. and just seeing them, man. And uh, my auntie did a, a wonderful job of holding it until the end. Uh, it got me, you know. So um, I'm doing better now, but like my uncle's a, was a good man, and, and <laughs> my, my he, prayers he, and man, he yeah. he was the one that held everybody together after my granddaddy died. Yeah, <clears throat> and, and it's hard, but you know, I didn't mean to bring a damper to y'all day, man. But uh, nah, 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 nah. Listen, nah, nah, nah. listen, listen, listen. <sighs> It's more of a, a testimony of your story with your uncle, you know, with his legend, his legendary. And he story. lived in Kansas City. He was a big time Kansas City fan. Speaking of, speaking of Kansas City, man, if y'all just tuning in to the show, Reginald came in here with this. Hey, he flexing this blinder on the day. Man. I don't know what's flexing, wrong flexing. with him. I mean, and the only reason I got it because I pulled it out my safety deposit box, <laughs> and I had to wear it to the funeral for my uncle, man. Because because once he, he found out I was traded. Take care of the city, man. He was, he was the first person to call me. <laughs> man, excited. Boy, we, hey, I got to take you around, dude. We got to do this, da, 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 da. Hey. Man, I just still wish I spent more time with him, man. So, but the I, time, but the time the Lord gave me with him, I'm, I'm appreciative, man. Yeah, I, I just appreciate the fact that you can, you know what I mean, that you still will tell <laughs> folks and you let folks know just how great of a man he was. Man, That's the biggest thing. Man. Let their memory keep living on. That legacy. Because people don't realize, man, it's, 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 everybody ain't with you, man. And, and he was supposed to have some people with him, and they didn't ride with him how they were supposed to. That's a different time and a different story <laughs> or a different place. But, man, look here. I want to talk about what happened to Dan Nashville, man. That's... Yeah, we, we talking about breaking down now, nah, man. That's, that's that's sad, man. We having too many instances like this in this world, man, and especially here on American soil. Like, <laughs> man, this, 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 is, this is is too damn common, bro. It's so crazy, bro. Because I talk about this all the time. Mm-hmm. Cause my kids are in school. Like, I got two kids that's older. Then I got my younger kids that's in school. And, you know, just like how we were talking about, you know, my daughters wanted to go to Panama City. Yep. This is another reason, like, you just don't know what people got on their mind, what they doing, or, you know, how they even thinking. And so I feel like, bro, mental health is serious, right? Me, personally, this is how I feel. And don't nobody, I mean, judge me if you want to. But I don't feel like that's a mental health problem right there. How you go up in a place where you where kids are at or going to the grocery store, going to church, and just kill people. Exactly. Like and, that. And then if they live or they survive, these folks are going to mental houses and they getting 
medicine after two to three to four years and they back on the street that's true like is that fair to these parents is that fair to that child is that fair to that life like that's not right and it don't sit right with me bro because look i know we got to take a break i know smitty bumping the music but we're gonna when we get back we're gonna we're gonna go more on the on, on on this story about uh what's that happened in tennessee and it's crazy because we was just there this weekend and it kind of looked like the same school i don't know if it's the same school or not that we was at for a uh, basketball tournament um it's a national tournament and we played there and actually we just left there about seven last <laughs> night and so man just just to think about this the next day like yeah that's, it's crazy that's gotta feel and like i was in Huntsville where i'm from mm-hmm. and that's an hour and a half for me. Yeah. Yeah. I condolences to all the families. Yeah, man. man. It's crazy, man. Seven people died. Uh three adults, three kids. Um other three te- uh from what they said on the news, one teacher, one substitute, and one custodian. Oh man. Listen, man, we're gonna be right back, man. We'll be right back, man, with the ropes with TR3. Inspired by quality ingredients and excellent service, Eggers Bakery has been a staple of Alabamian celebrations since 1998. What started as a small neighborhood bakery, founded by Terry and Dottie Smith in Birmingham, has expanded to 10 locations throughout Alabama. Eggers Bakery offers hot, delicious breakfast and lunch options, in addition to grab-and-go deli items. They offer a wide range of pastries and desserts, including cookies, bars, brownies, cakes, cupcakes, and much more made entirely from scratch using fresh natural ingredients. Shop for gifts and merchandise in store, including everyday and seasonal home decor items. Eggers has something for everyone. They also offer catering, shipping, and delivery options. Visit their website today at eggersbakery.com or stop by a location near you. Walk-On Sports Bistro puts everything they've got into bringing you game day with a taste of Louisiana. Dig into their mouth-watering, made-from-scratch Louisiana dishes or fan favorites like juicy burgers and fresh salads, all in front of 70-plus TVs with more than 40 beers on tap. Watching at home? Walk-Ons is available to go. Order online or through the Walk-Ons mobile app. Visit Walk-Ons in Tuscaloosa, Hoover, Montgomery, and Mobile. Walk-On Sports Bistro, more than a restaurant. Hey, Birmingham, thinking about making your next move? The Randy Brooks team at Avast Realty is ready to help you with your real estate needs. If it's buying or selling, they have the tools and expertise to get you from for sale to sold. Whether you're looking in the city or want space to stretch out, call us at 205-965-6645. That's 205-965-6645. Real estate is key to building long-term wealth, so call the Randy Brooks team at 205-965-6645 and let's get you from for sale to sold today. 205 205- 965-6645. Your dream has an address. Let's find it. New construction home searching can be challenging for buyers. The solution is the Avast Realty New Construction Home Team at 205-965-6645. Their relationships with the top new home builders in the state means they have the most up-to-date information on new home inventory. And as your buyer agent, the Avast Realty New Home Construction Team will give you 1% of our commission to use towards your new home purchase. So put the knowledge, expertise, and professionalism of the team to work for you and contact the Avast Realty New Construction Team at 205-965-6645 today. Again, that's 205-965-6645. Call today because your new home is waiting. Commission share disclosed on sales contract and closing statement. Excuse me, do you know how long halftime is for a Crimson Tide football game? 15 minutes? 12 minutes? Um, 18 minutes? I'm pretty sure 12 minutes. Actually, halftime in Alabama lasts 20 minutes. Any idea how long it takes to complete a mortgage application? An hour and a half. Uh, probably like three hours at least. It takes a couple days. I'm going to go with 45 minutes. Actually, at Assurance Financial, you can apply for a mortgage in less time than half time. Find out more by visiting them at assurancemortgage.com. That's assurancemortgage.com. Equal housing opportunity in MLS 70876. Call Chase Brooks at 205-612-4046. Tax time is just around the corner. It would be a great time to purchase your new home. Capco Builders is a company who has been building manufactured homes for the last 20 years. If you are in the state of Alabama, go by and see one of our local retailers today. 
J&J Homes in Coleman, Repo Land in Albertville, Oxford Housing in Oxford, Freedom Homes in Jasper, Miller Homes in Opelika, Discount Home Sales in Enterprise, Spartan in Somerdale, Daystar in Sylacauga and Clanton, and always remember, Cabco Builders, where quality comes first. Welcome back with the ropes with TR3. And while we was on break, Reggie was cleaning his face with this ring. I'm salty. I'm who you telling? Why are y'all salty, man? I, I, I ain't salty, but I'm salty. Mm-hmm. I, I ain't. The that saltine crackers, but I'm rich right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what you and nephew? I'm rich crackers. You hear me? Yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all something. With the soup on. I was that <laughs> close though. Like I was right there. You are. Hey, you closer to me. You know what I always tell people? To be the man, you got to beat the man. <laughs> and 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 damn it. I, we 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 beat the man to get this dago ring. I had to go through time. Hey, that, this is true, but stuff. not in the playoffs though. We beat time mm-hmm. in the regular season. <laughs> the regular season. It's playoff time. Hey, hey, because that year was crazy though. When we want to when we want to Super Bowl. We had to play Deshaun Watson mm-hmm. when he's at the Texas. They was up twenty four to zero in the first half. Hey. You still had to go through some, but we still had time left in that first half. Well, we scored 28 unanswered points, went up 28 to 24 at that time. <laughs> Let them know they Reggie. didn't score no more. You gotta get him back. <laughs> we had to beat him. You gotta get him back. <laughs> and then they say, uh-uh, I, had Kansas to, I, City. Had to, I had to go through Derrick Henry to get there to the Super Bowl. Mm, mm. Mm. Yeah, you can get that easy. Mm. And that, that'd be the best thing for me, man, playing against my teammates, especially for them big games. Like, like I can remember playing against uh, the Patriots and that damn Dante. He said, uh, he said three. He for the throw me interception. <laughs> and one second later, he threw that man in interception. Wow. And you he, know he ain't got no swag. He socks, got no long swag. As, socks long as hell. Then he came <laughs> right back. And said three, let tell them throw me another inception. Mm. Threw another inception. I'm like, brother, y'all got something going on. You want to look? Got- <laughs> y'all need to let me know what's going on, cuz. You feeling left out? It might be Vegas. Hmm. Ooh. Mm. Uh oh. Uh, what, what, what my dog said, that's that on um, the script now. <laughs> script, no, yeah, I'm just script. <laughs> oh man, but um, uh, getting getting back to it, uh, we were just talking about. Uh, I don't even know if we can call it a it tragedy. It, it it'll count. Um, like put out mass shootings or whatever, we stand for a lot of other things too. Mm. So mass is like I guess like uh, known in mass. Yeah. But just to even talk about it, man, um, it's crazy. We just left there a couple hours, right? A couple hours, a few hours ago, we just left Nashville, Tennessee. Um, and, I, and I feel like that was just cool. Um, I don't know. I'm not, I don't know. I'm not to talk about this, but, you know, just to know that, man, we were just out there. And, and these kids go to school the next day. Um, and for a parent, especially if a parent is working, or at home, you know, sleep or whatever, and they hear this that this and the went on, and this one of their child's. Then you got a substitute teacher. When he's supposed to be there, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, he, they filling in, and you got a janitor or somebody. Like, come on, man, that's crazy. Because some of the coolest people I've ever known janitors. is the janitor. Yeah. See, my mom is a uh, a head custodian, mm. and I'm actually in a few more weeks gonna be a substitute. So the hit is is wow. Okay, so let me show this. So you think teachers should carry guns in school? Hmm. Hmm. I never thought about that. Because that could have been like I ain't gonna say it could have been prevented, but 
I know if something's going on, if I'm a teacher, I'm protecting my kids in there, and I'm I'm locked and loaded, and I'm ready to go. I don't know, man. I know them kids be trying them teachers. Yeah, but, but regardless, yeah. at the end of the day, slow, at yeah. the end of the day, if I'm a teacher, I'm responsible for them kids. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna protect them kids at the end of the day. Yeah, that's my main job to teach the kids and protect the kids. I'm like Joe Cart. <laughs> Hey, they call me crazy dude. See. Now you call me Batman because he had the baseball bat. He was yeah. protecting them kids from them drug dealers and everybody coming to school. And they didn't hey. understand it. Mm-mm. That was his they job. They didn't. Mm-mm. They didn't understand. Like, like people don't realize. Lean on me is 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 so powerful. Powerful. Powerful man. Like what that man went in there and did within a couple of months. Like that school didn't have that at all. Mm. When uh-huh. he was there the first time, they fired him. Is it what like 20 some years later or something like that? Or mm. it was a few years later, but no. yeah, that it wasn't it, it wasn't right, like, but they didn't see what he was pushing, what he was doing. Mm-hmm. He changed the gates for he, ch- he changed the, the lock, the, the doors, yeah. um, to keep the drug dealer out. But the, but people don't realize he had got them kids to think on a different scale and a different level. He had them kids to believe they could be so much more than being a product of their environment. That's exactly. And, and 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 how he started it off, right? You know, he didn't just start it off by what well, did he keep the kids out for? Man, look at he had an assembly. <laughs> it, it recite the school song. No, no, no. Oh, no. you didn't know the song. He, he kicked all of them out on, on stage. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> he, here comes Sam's. Mm-hmm. I can't go on. My mom is going to kick my butt. You smoke crack, don't you? <laughs> kick them out. He want to hear me, he me see it. I do. He uh, sounds just like, he sounds like, he sounds just like Morgan Freeman. Go ahead, do it. Listen, man. Man, but, but, man, that's, it's, that's a tragedy. Man, it's smoke sad. crack, don't you? That's <laughs> it. Man, but man, my heart goes out to those families, man, in that school in Nashville, man. I know, I, I know, you can't replace a loved one, man, but mm-hmm. I'm, I'm praying that y'all get through it, man, the best way possible, man. Man, they babies, man, they didn't even get a chance to see and grow, and they didn't even didn't even hit double digit, man. I said one of the kids about to turn nine this week. Next week, yeah, one like yeah, one was eight and a half. He was right there. And the other two was nine. These kids, babies, man. And my my thing is, what would motivate you to take it that serious? What would motivate you to take it that serious, where you would need to come armed like that and to do what you did to prove what point? What would motivate you to do that? Like to a certain extent, yeah. You know, got to think about how folks are in here, you know what I mean? Mental health is very much a thing. But how do you protect yourself from folks who could snap at any moment? Like, you said that on the show. I, I, I can say this. We have to treat people better. It's like, if it's in of us, and we all ganging up and bullying on you, in the back of your mind, you're gonna put some of your head to where, man, I'm gonna hurt I'm gonna hurt with me. And it's constantly repeated and repeated and repeated, repeated. So like I'm pretty sure y'all watch BMF the, the show, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. On the show, the police officer got a son getting bullied. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, then, and then the kid, and then the kid had enough. He went home, got his dad's gun. Well, I ain't get that part on you. Okay. No, he went home. <laughs> he went home. <laughs> but yeah, that's a great, that's a great point, actually, and that's so true. But we we said on the uh, shout, shout out to Joe Locke show, but we said on the show there's so many places because well, well, why would you think this could happen in a church or a mm-hmm. school or any place like a preschool? We only get the you know what I mean? So that person had a person. We had a well, but my thing, why would that be the motive? And we highlighted it. It was like, yo, this can be anywhere. It already happened almost everywhere. You had stuff in an actual church, 
had stuff in a movie theater, had stuff at a mall. Dude, we had something that had something to go down here in the mall, in the Galleria. Oh, uh, you, you got stuff that's going on at park. It can happen anywhere. Yeah, it happened at the middle school I went to. And you made a great yeah. point, man. Like, even if you were to just take the abuse from a whole folks gathering against you, at a certain moment, you might break it. When is your breaking time? Exactly. Exactly, man. We just have to learn how to treat people better, man. And that's the thing, man. Like, I think that comes from home. A lot of kids. Actually, I don't know. It might, it might not, but also, I think there are a lot of a lot of kids that follow instead of stepping up and leading. Because like when you just want to fit in with a group of kids, man, and just be cool with your own. Oh, I ain't got with such and such. I'm gonna go with such and such. Hey, you had to highlight it something though, because maybe those maybe those things that you just said without it, as far as like everybody knowing like that, maybe that's that instance where they try to be different. You know what I mean? But now you can be different and be a part of it. Well, that's the thing. What's wrong with being different? There's nothing, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with being different. I know I'm different. Like, from a lot of the people I hang out with. But that's just me, though. And, like, I would never judge nobody for being the way they are. With you like what you like. You do what you do because you like what you do. How can... I can't stand when people be like, a bunch of people, man, that person's weird. That person's weird. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah, my cup of tea or a tea steak on like that. Mm-hmm. Well, that's... So my thing is, man, like... With the situation with, you said it, I know, Smitty, right? Smitty, you said something you said about it, they, they, right. she left something she found. She said, the lady who did the, the, the shooting, Smitty, what was, what was it? They said it was about now. Hold on, let me try and speak on. You're saying that they found from her social pages, and they're starting to even scrub some of this from her social pages, that she was going as a man as far as she was trans, and she was planning as a man, even though she was born female. It's good to be a religious school that could have been part of the reason why but also as andrew was saying back here that there was a pedophile and there was someone who had actually sexually whether i don't want to go as far as to say assaulted but sexually had touched if not further this lady who when she was in school there and that could probably be another reason why she went back even though that man wasn't still there she might have probably still there allegedly Man, yeah. we, we need to get more facts on that. That if, is just, true. If that's the case, man, you don't have to go up there and do that kind of thing if it is, man. And that's the thing. It, 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 especially since it's not the spray school kids. And for her to have two firearms and a pistol, she was planning on not relating. Yeah, man. Like I said uh, at the beginning of the show, I, I don't know what would motivate you to go that far. Man, we got to. Oh, we go and finish. What is that? We finish the we can take a break. Man, let's, man, let's, let's yeah. finish. Finish the break? Yeah, we're going to finish. I'm going to say, yeah, we got Byron. Okay. Byron yeah. on the yeah, phone. We got Byron from Birmingham, man. Hey, man. <clears throat> we got Byron. But, but, but I've been knowing Byron since I was a jit in school. You know what I'm saying? Man. <laughs> And, and every time I've seen Byron, man, he's always trying to put kids in the right position, man, to be successful. Uh, even when they go down the road, man, Byron's always there to pick the kids up, man. Hey, B, turn your radio down a little bit. Hey, actually, what it is, I'm sorry. I'm down <laughs> here uh, in uh, no man land. I'm down on the plane and practicing and stuff. Wow. Uh, I got to recruit me at all right now. Okay. Man, that's what I'm talking about. You always working, helping the kids yeah. out, man. One thing about Byron, <clears throat> since I've been knowing him, he gonna get a kid in school somewhere now. You go, <laughs> hey, you going to college and your parents and you gonna get your education. <laughs> hey, 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 Reggie, the one I got with you right now, he's 11. So he's starting early. Hey. Man, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Don't expose him, let us see some stuff. Because I ain't gonna lie today. I know Trent son, he but man. I see Marcel Darius kid today. 10 years old. Man, he huge, bro. Man, he, he is huge. 
That kid is big and got and his daughter, she's nine. She's probably like a couple inches shorter than her brother. Still got an issue on his hand. Let me tell you that now. Man, I, I would say he would be like what five four. Yeah, yeah, the kid, bro. Yeah, still got some, still got some bees on his hand. <laughs> man, but man, but, that's man, a good problem to have. man, that's a great problem. Man, but what you want to talk about though, Byron? Hey, you know this Nashville deal. I mean, you know a lot of people uh, talk about it, and I think the biggest problem we're missing is it's been around forever. You know these mental health issues. I mean, people don't take it as serious as they should. I mean, you talk about even though what you know the motive was and stuff. And at the end of the day, I mean, there's more help for the consumers and people not who have these problems. And it's just proud and think, like, I got a problem and I'm addressing this stuff. And they take their frustration and anger uh, in, in, uh, in other areas. And unfortunately, now, you know, some of the kids uh, of this school, because I lived in Nashville for 13 years. And when this school is at, I mean, it literally sits like, and if you know where that would be in France, it's in Green Hill. It's right by Green Hill Hall. And it's, you know, it's more or less like the bougie part of uh, Nashville. And then it just, you know, it just, it's a sad thing because the mental health portion of it, and, you know, people not taking that part serious, you know, when, uh, they may have issues outside, but it goes back to the mental health part of it, you know, like mental state. Right. Yeah, you're right, so. Though. So tell me this, man. When, when these these killings happen at schools and stuff like that, these churches, man, do you feel like it's a mental health thing, or you just feel like it's just some evil out in the world? Like these people just like I think you know. I think you know, I think it's both. You know, I think it's, it is an evil out there, but then when you start thinking and looking at it, so when you break it down, I mean, when you start looking at it, there's an issue there. This like I mean, you probably got to think about it. We all thought that. uh uh, and then her man just was crazy. I don't know he was doing at Florida and stuff. But then when he did, you know, the CTE test, he had the worst, you know, CTE that you know they've ever seen. Mm-hmm. I mean, so it's just a lot of mental stuff that you know that goes into it. That when the young kid, that you know, the parents can give them the help they need. The parents I can see the issues, but you know, I don't want to let my kid like he's stupid. I don't, I'm not going to get you know him or her the help that they may need. And you know, so. I think it goes both ways. I mean, like, evil people out here, and then, you know, you also have the kids out here, and we find a thing at a young age. I mean, but we ignore them. I mean, you know, we ignore them as a young, you know, or, 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 you know, then there is a problem that is not addressed, you know, it's not addressed in the time of Then they go out here and they do it, you know, the unfortunate. I mean, so that, you know, you're talking about, it's like, you know, it's just like the situation, I mean, you know, it ain't just uh, happening. I mean, let's go back to Waco. You know, that's what happens, you know, all the coaches, you know, with Dave, you know, Charette, whatever name is, Dave Perez, whatever his name is. I mean, you got even people out here like that, you know, you coach. But people want to, you know, want to follow. And like Reggie said, I mean, a lot of this stuff is followers that, that mental issues, and, but they, you know, they follow that stuff. So it is, it's crazy. Yeah. Man, you're right, man. It's it's just hard to you know to tap on it, man. To be like, okay, this is the direct problem. You know what I'm saying? Like, because it's like at the yeah. end of the day, like, how do I protect my child? Like, how do I just get my like? How do I bring my child home when they need an education? When they need to learn? I don't want to homeschool my child because they won't have any friends. They won't know how to uh, be a social uh, a socialized person. Like, how do I not keep my child from just being indoors and being a bubble yeah. child? Like they used to have a baby boy yeah, yeah, yeah. My bubble boy here. Yeah. Like, how do we stop? Like, how can we, like, is it me, man? I, 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 I've been a father since I was 14, 15. That's the only thing I know how to do is to protect my child. But Trent, you think about it then, the other part about it too is, I mean, when you look at it, then we ask ourselves, you know, everybody, you know, say, that's why we should have you know, a lot of teachers to have weapons, you know, in the classroom. But then that goes on that part. It's, you know, it's, it's a two headed sword. So you don't know, they, they may leave one day. Yeah, that's so what I was saying you know, about that. They, 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 they got them kids yeah. now. 
We trying these people now. We done seen in front of the videos these kids fighting teachers, and you know they calling home to their mamas and or whoever they come to fight hey, the teachers too. Hey, they calling home to their mamas yeah. and their mamas doing fighting. Yeah. It's crazy. I mean, right now, man, we had we had dark time, and then other stuff goes on, and it's like it ain't stopping. You, know, you look around. I mean, what happened? You know, we may say it ain't gonna happen here. But think about what happened last year in the church in the crazy. That could have been worse. Yeah. I mean, you know, that that could have been worse. Luckily, it you know wasn't. But somebody just showed up to play basketball with his kids. He just looked down the street. I mean, it's, you know. It's almost like, like you said, Trent, you, know, you don't want to homeschool them and stuff. You want to be in a uh, round society and learn something like that. And my son is going to make a home tomorrow in the days. I mean, it's so crazy out here. Mm. It's just sad, man, because it's a lot of street teachers and it's a lot of, you know, yeah. uh, people that care. I mean, these guys think about these people around these kids every day. Like, these people have built relationships with these kids. Like, like they're able to understand these kids right. and they got to deal with all these different personalities so when something like that happens then you got a substitute teacher come in not supposed to be there on a regular base and it's just like like what's the plan like what like what is the plan behind all this like that's what i don't well, do. right now it's going to be worse than that chance for them think about those other students who's in the class that didn't get injured that their mental state of it. They see him and waiting uh, you know, one of their friends is eight, nine years old to get shot down. How do you go how let kids go home and mom and dad explain to their kids what is really took place? You can't man. I don't, I don't think you really can explain, man. You can't exactly. You can't, you can't, you can't, can't man. Like, yeah. it's just it's like seeing your friend, man, look at it, like what yeah, I just well, saw you in the hall. I just bro. saw you, bro. Like we, we just dapped it up. Like we just gave each other a hug. You know, around that age, they hug, yeah, they hug. Yeah, you're the line leader, right? You're like, the line you leader. Like, you, was yeah. just, you, think of, you was just a school safety patrol, you know. Like, yeah. yep. like how do you? Deal I just wasn't that? that you had bathroom. <laughs> right. I just told you to stop running. Like, like yeah. you was just a dough holder. Like you, you know what I'm saying? Like oh, man, I, 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 I wouldn't. I will never understand, regardless if it's mental health or not. How can you just say, "Hey, I'm gonna go through this shit"? Innocent, even for anyone, bro. You know, I'm just gonna go off. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, like anybody, yeah. And I know what you're saying, but I just can't. Like, I felt yeah. bad when I shot a deer for the first time not too long ago. <laughs> like, I really felt <laughs> bad. Like. My kids made me feel even bad. I showed, showed them the video and so showed them the picture. Like, Dad, you shot that. Like, what is wrong with you? Like, I felt even worse. <laughs> like, man, like, oh man, it's, it's tough times, man. And I, you know, I deal a lot in you know, just like you do, by and, and Reg. You know, he's in the community a lot too with us. And so, man, like to to, to just see that, man, especially with these schools, bro. Like, I don't get that. I can't get greedy with that. I can't understand it. Like, like my friend on my line just said, man, it be planned out. So that, to me personally, that ain't nothing. If you meant to help somebody who's doing some of them posts, right. if you sit there and plan that out, that's not yeah, mental health. Not to help you, man. you need your ass with you plan out. You sit you sitting up here and plan out to kill some people. That I don't think that's mental health. It can be. It can be. I'm gonna say it can be. It could be, it could but be. it's premeditated. And you lose sympathy. Yeah. What, 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 Trent? Trent, here's the other thing you think about. Think mm-hmm. about this right here. Yep. You out there, you out there coaching. You know, your son just playing little league football, and some some crazy is this drive up and do some. Stupid. It happened this year. You know, it happened this yeah. year, bro. We was at the game. My kids was coming from you no, know, but on homecoming court. They just walked out of homecoming court. They just won, and as they walking off the field, we all were sitting down. You know, fit the fellowship and, and 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 eat food and stuff um and barbecue because it's homecoming all you hear is do 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 and so we and that, is that happening like everybody's running so now i'm looking for all my kids and i'm not just looking for my my kids kids i'm looking for my my team and 
yeah. and everybody's running, but these kids don't know to get down because we haven't went yeah. over this type of situation yeah. with them to even let them know, yeah. like, but why are you doing this at a little league field? And why did you think yeah. it was that deep? <sighs> to prove a point? Because you got, that you could be but, touched but, to anywhere, anytime? Yeah. That's got, crazy. You know, ethics no more. Though, and I'm, being, I'm older, y'all, but think about it. When y'all in school, and in high school and stuff, either you got in a fight, hey, you have to fight over, hey, next day or whatever, y'all back cool or whatever. But these these days and time, a fight is always in the, in the, in the gunfight. Yeah. Because we got coward, coward is going, you know, there ain't no fighting. And, and their thing is, you know, you know oh, I'm going to I'm put a gun, I'm going to shoot. And they be the first one when they get locked up. In 24 hours, they cry for mama and daddy. Man, it's crazy, man. But B, man, listen, we got to go on break, man. I appreciate you for calling in, man. Appreciate you know, this you, is home dog. for you, man. Anytime you want to call in, man. Appreciate you, big dog. Always, man. Y'all good luck. All right, man. All thank right, you. Appreciate you. But listen, man, we got to go take a break, man. Listen, we'll be right back, man, with the ropes with TR3. Ninety two point five WYDE FM Cordova, twelve sixty AM WYDE, ninety three point seven WDJC FM HD three Birmingham, and ninety five point three W two three seven EK Birmingham. Inspired by quality ingredients and excellent service, Eggers Bakery has been a staple of Alabamian celebrations since nineteen ninety eight. What started as a small neighborhood bakery, founded by Terry and Dottie Smith in Birmingham, has expanded to ten locations throughout Alabama. Eggers Bakery offers hot, delicious breakfast and lunch options, in addition to grab-and-go deli items. They offer a wide range of pastries and desserts, including cookies, bars, brownies, cakes, cupcakes, and much more, made entirely from scratch, using fresh, natural ingredients. Shop for gifts and merchandise in-store, including everyday and seasonal home decor items. Eggers has something for everyone. They also offer catering, shipping, and delivery options. Visit their website today at EggersBakery.com or stop by a location near you. Walk On Sports Bistro puts everything they've got into bringing you game day with a taste of Louisiana. Dig into their mouth-watering, made-from-scratch Louisiana dishes or fan favorites like juicy burgers and fresh salads, all in front of 70-plus TVs with more than 40 beers on tap. Watching at home? Walk-Ons is available to go. Order online or through the Walk-Ons mobile app. Visit Walk-Ons in Tuscaloosa, Hoover, Montgomery, and Mobile. Walk-On Sports Bistro, more than a restaurant. Hey, Birmingham. Thinking about making your next move? The Randy Brooks team at Avast Realty is ready to help you with your real estate needs. If it's buying or selling, they have the tools and expertise to get you from for sale to sold. Whether you're looking in the city or want space to stretch out, call us at 205-965-6645. That's 205-965-6645. Real estate is key to building long-term wealth, so call the Randy Brooks team at 205-965-6645 and let's get you from for sale to sold today. 205 205- Five nine six five six six four five. Your dream has an address. Let's find it. Excuse me. Do you know how long halftime is for a Crimson Tide football game? 15 minutes? 12 minutes? Um, 18 minutes? I'm pretty sure 12 minutes. Actually, halftime at Alabama lasts 20 minutes. Any idea how long it takes to complete a mortgage application? An hour and a half. Uh, probably like three hours at least. It takes a couple days. I'm going to go with 45 minutes. Actually, at Assurance Financial, you can apply for a mortgage in less time than half time. Find out more by visiting them at assurancemortgage.com. That's assurancemortgage.com. Equal housing opportunity in MLS 70876. Call Chase Brooks at 205-612-4046. New construction home searching can be challenging for buyers. The solution is the Avast Realty New Construction Home Team at 205-965-6645. Their relationships with the top new home builders in the state means they have the most up-to-date information on new home inventory. And as your buyer agent, the Avast Realty New Home Construction Team will give you 1% of our commission to use towards your new home purchase. So put the knowledge, expertise, and professionalism of the team to work for you and contact the Avast Realty New Construction Team at 205-965-6645 today. Again, that's 205-965-6645. Call today because your new home is waiting. Commission share disclosed on sales contract and closing statement. Tax time is just around the corner. It would be a great time to purchase your new home. Capco Builders is a company who has been building manufactured homes for the last 20 years. If you are in the state of Alabama, go by and see one of our local retailers today. 
J&J Homes in Coleman, Repo Land in Albertville, Oxford Housing in Oxford, Freedom Homes in Jasper, Miller Homes in Opelika, Discount Home Sales in Enterprise, Spartan in Somerdale, Daystar in Sylacauga and Clanton, and always remember, Capco Builders, where quality comes first. The Ropes with TR3, two-time national champion, three-time All-American, 2011 SEC Offensive Player of the Year, Heisman finalist, and Alabama's first Doak Walker Award winner with 49 touchdowns and 4,590 yards. Third pick of the 2012 NFL Draft to the Cleveland Browns, also doing a stint with the Indianapolis Colts. Trent Richardson can do it all under the brightest lights. Uniting legends of the game to show you the ropes. Train your body and mind with former Alabama wide receiver, 2009 national champion, Coach Mike McCoy. Develop a championship mentality with two-time national champion, 2015 SEC Player of the Year, Super Bowl winner with the Chiefs, Reggie Ragland. Featuring King of the Stage, comedian legend Jermaine Funny Mane Johnson, and 1992 national champion Antonio Langham. You are your way out. Live from ADX Studios in downtown Birmingham, The Ropes with TR3. Welcome back with the Rose with TR3. And Reggie is getting on my nerves today. No, you getting on my nerves. You tried to hide my ring when I, I left the room. I didn't, I, was, I didn't listen. I didn't try to Man, hide stop playing with me like that. I didn't try to hide the ring. What happened was put some on your ass bleach can't get off. Keep playing. Listen, I'm not Michael. Hello. I'm not little Michael. <laughs> what, you, what you just gonna do? Beat it. <laughs> 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 Hey, 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 man. Hey. Oh, hey. Oh, look here. Hey, look here. I'm going to tell you something. Hey, I'm going to tell, tell y'all how Trent died today. How Trent did me today at workout? How did I die? Well, Trent did me dirty how today. How did at I workout. die today? I didn't die. Okay. He just left Tell me, me hanging. Something. He left me hanging while I ran six sprints by myself. And like these were like, they say six sprints, six sprints. These were no regular sprints. Yeah, they, they, yeah, these friends ain't regular. These, these friends ain't regular. Man. These, these friends ain't no regular friends like these. Yeah, I think there might be a hundred yards, bro, down the back, bro. It might be. <laughs> yeah, these ain't no regular friends, bro. No, I don't think it's a hundred yards. It's almost. It's, it's almost. I, I say it's about ah. about seventy. Um, or eighty at least. It's about seventy. Run down and run back in thirty-two seconds. Yeah. And a sprint. Uh, and. It might be 100 yards because yeah, of, bro, it gotta be because a sprinter can run 100 yards in 11. Ten seconds. I was running ten, 10 seconds. Three. Yeah, I really got the mouth down to that. <laughs> just, just try. Yeah. Oh, I wonder. I was trying. But, but these, like, we really run. I'm tell you how Trent did me. So Trent, all of a sudden, um, my stomach hurt. It was. It left me. Defend listen, for myself. Listen, you know how hard that is to run by yourself. And then on top of that, I ran six and he ran five. First of all, ah, uh, you cheated. Yeah, he Wait, cheated. No, no, he, no, cheated. No, no. he cheated. He cheated. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> we don't want to hit that. Don't hit it. Don't hit it. He cheated. He cheated. He cheated me today. He talked about he had a bad bowel movement. The truth or not the truth. <laughs> I used to be the truth. I used to be the truth. Because what you about to say is not going to be the truth. Stomach man, don't act like I was the only stomach man. I, yeah, but I ran <laughs> them, but you I persevered, and after the fact, I went and handled my It's either me, it's either you or me. Mm. And I'm too grown to be out there. Hey, <laughs> he said, Oh, my stomach's <laughs> mother. <laughs> 
But that was the worst thing about fourth quarter. Oh, I gotta tell you my story about Stogie. Yeah, with that birthday. Oh, oh, Jones. Well, funny though, like you said, fourth quarter. I told one of the coaches, I ain't gonna say who it was, I ain't gonna throw him under the bus. But, uh, man, I said, man, I ain't gonna say, ain't got nothing to do with your bowel movement. You keep the hell on going. (laughs) (laughs) And luckily, who told you that? It's gonna, be, it's gonna be somebody you least think. So it wasn't TJ. Huh? Hey, no, it wasn't TJ. And TJ would tell me to take my tail in there. TJ would do it. And what TJ would tell Mark? TJ don't like you, man. No, TJ, I ain't say me. No, TJ love me. We, we TJ, just, listen, listen. We're we doing a full quarter program, Mark. Mark got that fine. <laughs> Wait, is this rough like what? <laughs> no, it was the summer. That was a summer. But Mark was out there crying. Oh, man. <laughs> and TJ said, if I tell you bring your ass down here to this house, boy. Yep. Yep. That's what I said. My people at Chalk on. This was. You got to stay off the land. You got to call him. Oh, okay. Welcome. Okay. But man, listen, listen, it's either you or this grown man. And speaking of you, I ain't mean to cut you off. I'm not what? Alabama. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Hey, listen, we might- Nate Oates. We had a good season this year, man. Not a fantastic season. But damn all that, that don't mean nothing if you ain't got that ring. Mm. Nate Oates, hey, you need some know. toughness in the inside, my brother. I've been talking about this. We need to go get some toughness on the inside because every time we didn't play the team that was bigger and tougher than us, we would lose. And then this is a heck of a team that played against. So we got to go in there. We got to get some more beef in the post. And if we at least had one person that, that could have went toe-to-toe with, with our cool whoever his name mm-hmm. was down there, we would have had a shot. And, 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 and I don't care how big nobody is. We were still there, but maybe we were shooting ourselves in the foot with turnovers. And all type of stuff. But like I said, let's go let's, let's go get some men. Hit that portal and go get some men. And we can go do our thing, man, and have a good chance, bro. See, that's the thing, too, man. I and I've been saying this all year. I, I kind of been saying this since Coach Oates got there. We gotta get a presence now, bro. Like we we I know we we, we shoot the three. And when we on, we on. But when we all we is out. That last game was the worst shooting percentage the whole season of 11%. The only thing I don't like about Cole Oates, man, he don't, he don't like his guys to shoot mid-range jumpers, man. Uh, he don't like that. He's an analytics guy. He likes either threes or layups. Like, I grew up shooting at mid-range. Like, that got me going. If I wouldn't make the shots, that mm-hmm. thing, I just got at least be able to see it go in. Like, you think going into my elbow? I don't wish it. Man. It, it, you, if you go strictly by analytics, then you won't. Really putting all your heart into it, at least for me, anyway. Because mm-hmm. if you got a good open shot, regardless of where it uh, is, he was three for 27. That's what I'm saying. They, they didn't make it the halftime adjustment. You your morale doing all that. So if they would have noticed at halftime, they were scoring, and now it scores when you go stay in the paint. So if they would have switched up their offense instead of keeping that mentality that they had the whole season, they would have outscored San Diego State. But you got to realize shooters going to shoot. You're one for 11 in the first and, half. And, if, and, and I get that, but if you know a shooter, he ain't never had a bad day. That's the term, ain't it? Shooters ain't never had a bad never day. Been a shooter's going to shoot. It's been some bad days. That's why he didn't uh, die by the three, though. You're either going to live or. Yeah, they but, definitely but, died but by the but three. But that's how we playing, playing. Yeah, we've been playing like that's that. That's how we playing. I mean, but San Diego ain't even shooting that good for real. They shot like 35%. Man, San Diego ain't. They was six for 17. Um, but they, they was, had smarter shots. Yeah, they had, yeah. It was twenty six for sixty three on the field goals. They was mm-hmm. twenty three for uh, almost twenty three for seventy one and what thirty two percent on field goals. So I mean, even at the free throw line, I mean, like we we had better free throws than they had. We were seventy five percent from the free throw line, but we can't get free throws because we're not going in the paint to draw the ball. Mm-hmm. 
Wait, wait, wait. We're not going in the paint and making a present. Like, we ain't had nobody who could go get him back. They got to get him back. Got to get him back. Because yeah. you got to come down court. If you go in that paint, and then, and then, but like, like my guy just said, I'm alive. Like, they caught momentum in the last five minutes. They did. Because we let them. They did. And they didn't do nothing special. They played good defense, but. They out muscled us. They wanted the ball. They, out, they was way more physical than us. They weren't better than us. It was way more physical than us. They wanted and I and I'd be damned if I let anybody just come in that thing to push me around. Mm. Even to push me around, you're gonna catch your elbow in the chest. But they go back to what y'all said. The games they lost. That was their problem. Mm-hmm. Every last one of those games they lost this year was because somebody had that type of mentality on them. And they couldn't respond. Yeah. Then yeah. and that man, she weird. They had San Diego, it, and it's actually crazy. We don't talk about the facts. Right? We don't talk about the numbers. It ain't that far off when it comes to this. They had Tennessee. We had Tennessee. All right. <laughs> Dang, don't to the show. That's what they oh, had. had. Eight blocks. We had five blocks. We had nine. We had nine. They had nine steals. We had five steals. They had 12 turnovers. We had 14. Hey, man, we got a corner right now. And we had 22 personal fouls. Yeah. Whoa. They got out. Oh, they got manhandled out there. What's up, Marquez? How's it going? Man, we good, man. How are you? You doing well? I just uh, I got a few words. I can ask you recently. Uh, you know, free advice. Okay, what you got for me, big dog? Uh, I'm going to... Uh, I met you in one of the Mexico trials in Birmingham. You probably not remember me, but uh, I got a few words. I just want to get some advice. What advice do you have for somebody that you know, tried out for two coaches and, you know, got released both times uh, for stuff that you can't control? Like, how did you deal with, like, adversity, you know, when you went through something similar than that before? Knowing that you played at, you know, the best league and NFL, like, the top of the league. Like how did you deal with stuff like that? Um, dealing with stuff like that, man, you you just gotta be, you gotta, you gotta have a, a mindset. Like, you see the, you know, be denied, kill or be killed, be denied your dream or his dream. Like, you believe in yourself, keep going back out there. But you gotta go back out there knowing the fact that you went back home and worked on yourself, not just your game, yourself too. Like, like get get away from everybody. Like the best thing for me, man, in my career was me going out to Canada, and I and that was because I was away from everybody pulling on me or wanting this and not being able to be fully focused on the game. So when I got a mm-hmm. chance to play again with the Alliance, that's probably one of some of the best football I've been around as far as being able to learn, being able to uh, help people out, be able to grow with myself. Um, so I was I was more focused and I was able to be comfortable with being uncomfortable because me being comfortable was me being around a whole bunch of people. And so that was that was my comfort zone. But me being uncomfortable was me being by myself and me sitting down to say, OK, look, three, this is this is what you was doing at Bama. Like you can't live off what we did at Bama. Like We can't live off of. Uh, and I and, and this is a conversation I would have with my son. Like, we can't live off what you did last year on the football field. It's a new season. What can you do for me now? Yeah. That's exactly how the NFL is. I said exactly how any lead is. Like, if you're not the guy, then we don't need you. We can replace you. Period. So, what can you do for me now? So, man, I said keep fighting, bro. This really what you want to do. Just really what you, you know, you're trying to prove to yourself, not to everybody else. You can put your best foot forward. You go ahead and do it, man. man. It's no question for me. Man, keep fighting, dog. And at the end of the day, as long as you can say you gave it your all and try, bro, that's all we can live for. But, man, keep busting your tail, bro. Some, some going to give, bro. You know, just keep going. I really appreciate that, Gordon. Man. I appreciate it. Anytime, man. Anytime you need something, man, you can definitely call into the show, man. Absolutely. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all. All right, good dog. You have a good one. 
Listen, we got to take a break, man. Listen, we'll be right back, man, with the ropes with TR3. Live from downtown Birmingham, the ropes with TR3. Inspired by quality ingredients and excellent service, Eckers Bakery has been a staple of Alabamian celebrations since 1998. What started as a small neighborhood bakery, founded by Terry and Dottie Smith in Birmingham, has expanded to 10 locations throughout Alabama. Eckers Bakery offers hot, delicious breakfast and lunch options, in addition to grab-and-go deli items. They offer a wide range of pastries and desserts, including cookies, bars, brownies, cakes, cupcakes, and much more, made entirely from scratch using fresh natural ingredients. Shop for gifts and merchandise in store, including everyday and seasonal home decor items. Eggers has something for everyone. They also offer catering, shipping, and delivery options. Visit their website today at eggersbakery.com or stop by a location near you. Walk On Sports Bistro puts everything they've got into bringing you game day with a taste of Louisiana. Dig into their mouth-watering, made-from-scratch Louisiana dishes or fan favorites like juicy burgers and fresh salads, all in front of 70-plus TVs with more than 40 beers on tap. Watching at home? Walk-Ons is available to go. Order online or through the Walk-Ons mobile app. Visit Walk-Ons in Tuscaloosa, Hoover, Montgomery, and Mobile. Walk-On Sports Bistro, more than a restaurant. Hey, Birmingham, thinking about making your next move? The Randy Brooks team at Advanced Realty is ready to help you with your real estate needs. If it's buying or selling, they have the tools and expertise to get you from for sale to sold. Whether you're looking in the city or want space to stretch out, call us at 205-965-6645. That's 205-965-6645. Real estate is key to building long-term wealth, so call the Randy Brooks team at 205-965-6645 and let's get you from for sale to sold today. 205 205- 965-6645. Your dream has an address. Let's find it. New construction home searching can be challenging for buyers. The solution is the Avast Realty New Construction Home Team at 205-965-6645. Their relationships with the top new home builders in the state means they have the most up-to-date information on new home inventory. And as your buyer agent, the Avast Realty New Home Construction Team will give you 1% of our commission to use towards your new home purchase. So put the knowledge, expertise, and professionalism of the team to work for you and contact the Avast Realty New Construction Team at 205-965-6645 today. Again, that's 205-965-6645. Call today because your new home is waiting. Commission shared disclosed on sales contract and closing statement. Excuse me, do you know how long halftime is for a Crimson Tide football game? 15 minutes? 12 minutes? Um, 18 minutes? I'm pretty sure 12 minutes. Actually, halftime at Alabama lasts 20 minutes. Any idea how long it takes to complete a mortgage application? An hour and a half. Uh, probably like three hours at least. It takes a couple days. I'm going to go with 45 minutes. Actually, at Assurance Financial, you can apply for a mortgage in less time than half time. Find out more by visiting them at assurancemortgage.com. That's assurancemortgage.com. Equal housing opportunity in MLS 70876. Call Chase Brooks at 205-612-4046. Tax time is just around the corner. It would be a great time to purchase your new home. Capco Builders is a company who has been building manufactured homes for the last 20 years. If you are in the state of Alabama, go by and see one of our local retailers today. J&J Homes in Coleman, Repo Land in Albertville, Oxford Housing in Oxford, Freedom Homes in Jasper, Miller Homes in Opelika, Discount Home Sales in Enterprise, Spartan in Somerdale, Daystar in Sylacauga and Clanton. And always remember, Capco Builders, where quality comes first. Welcome back to the road with TR3. And we just had a good caller call in, man. We was talking a little bit offline um, while we was on our break, man. We was talking about, uh, he was saying that, he, you know, he went to two trials. He actually made the team, then he got quit. Um, he was asking me, you know, how they, how they, how can he deal with that? And, and, and me going through what I went through, um, just letting him know, man, like, hey, it's, it's a process. And, 
in that process, man, you gotta be able to look at yourself like a like a stove, like a gas stove. So my coach TJ had told me this my last year because I was trying to find my identity within the team, trying to find different ways to lead. I'm um, trying to get out the era of, you know, we won a championship 2009. Mark Eamon won a Heisman. And because Mark was gone, Julio was gone, uh, Gary McElroy was gone. So I was the guy. Um, and, and then to lead the team as an offensive guy, and to be the face of the program, it was different. So I never got to see into that point what Mark was going through. You know, being a guy, what the Julio Jones was going through because <laughs> he was Julio. Mm. So stepping into that role of not winning a championship our sophomore year, um, the embarrassment that we had within ourselves um, by just watching Coach Saban host the national championship. It was just like, you know, Coach, like, what? I need to do it. And he was like, bro, sometimes he was like his mama had told him that he had got sent home from Green Bay and they had switched his position around and all his other stuff. And he didn't want to play this certain position. And he was like, man, his mom told him, like, you got a gas stove. And you know how we grew up, how I raised y'all. If that light, that pallet go out, you got to get down on your knees. Get down on your knees and relight that pallet. And so, what you take from that is with that gas stove, you can't eat without that gas stove. <laughs> you can't run your hot water without that gas stove. Like, you got to be able to humble yourself to be vulnerable to want what's best for you. And how you get there, that's got to be by yourself. Or if you, even if it's not by yourself, you got to get with some dogs who want more than you. You got to get with some dogs who want to tell you, no, it's not the right way. Or you're not good enough. You're not working hard enough. You're good enough, but you're not working hard enough. Mm. Like I was able to get around people like Mike and sit and let me know that, hey, bro, you do it. But to be great, you got to cut some of these this stuff off. Mm. Now, when you, like you, you eating a, a real steak, you ain't got all that fat on it. You you cooking with beers, man. <laughs> yeah, okay. Y'all don't know about cook, eating with no real steak. Cause we eating a real steak, you don't need no A1 sauce. Hey, let them know. All yeah, you yeah. need is some like some clover, some garlic, a little butter, and some salt and pepper, and that thing cut just like butter. Oh. Get some real steak. <laughs> yeah, let them know. Yeah. That's out the one because. It take a lot to do. Oh yeah, and yeah, and yeah. yeah. You, you you hear it in his voice, like you really want it. Yeah. Um, and, and it's definitely you know, it's, and it's some, and it's probably been a sport he's been playing his whole life. Like, mm -hmm. man, I started playing football when I was five or six. Um, so for a while, that's all I knew. So even my transition out the league was like, okay, who is Trent? Well, damn Trent, who is Trenton? Mm. Like, who who is that? Like I'm, I'm bigger than Trent Richardson. Like, and that's not even me trying to talk in third person, but it, it's a difference. It is. Like, hey. who, who was the son that my mama raised and my brothers them raised? Like, they didn't. They didn't raise me to get no quitter. Like, they didn't raise me to, to to pack up and leave or to tuck my tail. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to Mike about this, man. It's crazy we having this conversation. We're like, bro, you gotta think about this. You're like, man, for a long time you just try to be normal. That's not you. You're not normal. <laughs> and I'm like, what you mean? You're like, man, you try to be a regular civilian out here. That's not you. Yeah, you might, you know, you, you might want to, you know, go to the grocery store. But you're going to get, you know, you're you going to get people to come around there and, and want pictures and stuff like that, too. That's the name of the game. That's the name of the game. But you, you're chosen for a reason. You're special for a reason. You done made it this far for a reason. You're the first for a reason. Mm. Uh, your story is your story. And with the boss put in front of you, bro, like, can't nobody else handle that. And I like what you said right there, too. It's usually these type of setbacks that build those great people. You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe this is one of those times, bro, you had to take this setback to the chin. So you can, you know what I mean, help others. So you can be more of a motivational tool yourself when you do get where you want to go. 
you know, and I was talking to my cousin, man. Uh, I was talking to my cousin, and I was talking to him, and it was like my, my at the time when everything was just like a whole bunch of clutter. And I was just like, man, why is this happening to me? And he was like, why not? I went to me. And I just said, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. And at this time, like, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm frustrated already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm really in fight mode, but I'm not because, because like, I, you know, I, I got to give me respect. You know what I'm saying? But it was just like, what you mean? You're like, why not? Why not it happen to you? You're the only person that can handle this. Like, can't nobody do it. You, you, you poker face, man. You, you don't get out of character, bro. You don't let nothing rattle you. Like, how do you do this? This is you. I couldn't do this. And he's talking to about himself. I couldn't do this. Like, I could I can't do what Reggie doing right now. Reggie got a ring for a reason, a Super ring for a reason. Needed behind on the boards right now for a reason. Like, like it is what it is. Like, you, you're not going to come play the running back at Alabama. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? That's not true. It's not me. Like, this is my story. Like, I was telling my kid, bro, like, hey, man, you got to want this for yourself. Because if you can't, bro, if you don't want, I can't want it more. You, yeah, I can't make you happy. If I can't live through you, I can't. I damn sure can't do it for you. I done did my my living when it comes to sports and, and all this other stuff. Like, bro, you gotta want it. Exactly. You gotta have this freedom. You're bred for this stuff for these type moments. And I'm talking about, and, and then he go out and <laughs> bring back one of them rings. Hey, <laughs> or he go out and, and make an A. It's, it's just in them. Like, it is. It is. Like, but he, he got to have that fight every time he step out there. And I'm talking about from practice to, to layup line to tackling drills. Like, you got to be willing to dominate every damn chance you get a chance, an opportunity. And that's even with their life. Anytime I wake up, I got to get something out the day. If I don't, I ain't did no, no justice for myself, bro. I ain't, I ain't did nothing for myself at all. Yeah. Am I, am I knocking on the right door, Red? Yeah, I said that because, like, earlier, you know, we had a conversation <clears throat> about Lil' Man. Mm -hmm. You want him to have that more dog in him starting off games and controlling that and early. But like, but, like, we were just saying earlier, though, too, like, it might be a little phase he just might be going through, and I get it. You want to push him out of it, but, but he has to want to come out of it. Yeah. Like, like you can sit there and say you want it for him all day, but if he don't want it for himself or want to do it for himself, it ain't gonna mean a damn thing. Mm -hmm. Like, and like he's and he nonchalant as hell. <laughs> like, come on, you can be playing with him all day right. one day and he'll walk right past you the next day right <laughs> just like this he do he do that to me all the time yeah, be just like this hey i'll be like hold on bro nah, i man, thought it was cool man i'll be make i'll be making him talk to me <laughs> but when he, he mess with you he mess with you now like that's him that's just how he but is. that just means his social media is yeah, went well, to the well, dumpster yeah we well, don't even do social media no we, social media oh yeah <laughs> when he get around a group of kids, though, like he, everybody want to be around him. You know, he leading everything, and yeah, because he's a cool guy. Not when you a leader, like yeah, it, it don't is, take much. You, you got that to, aura about this. Like right? he walks around, feet big as all get out. He bigger than everybody, and he hell over the place. Oh, but he himself, <laughs> <laughs> he's but, he, but he is himself. And when you confident in yourself and sure yourself, people want to be around it. And you leave without even trying. Because you got to realize a lot of people that follow aren't really sure of themselves. And they follow from the back. And they follow from the back and follow people who are sure of themselves. That's why a lot of cats you see want to hang around the cool guy or whatever. And they got all the girls. All the girls want to talk because the confidence is uphill. You got something they lack. And like, it, all you got to do is be yourself. And let's reiterate this though. Just because somebody else got something that you like doesn't mean that you can't attain. Mm -hmm. 
you, you know what I mean? mean? You you can build yourself up to be whatever you feel you you should be. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Don't ever limit yourself to just having to follow somebody or make yourself a leader when you know you're not. These are these, you 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 figure those out when you start really realizing who you are. Yeah, that's the main thing. Realize who you are. Bro. And you don't know some. Like, and that's uh, being a leader doesn't always mean leader from the front. No, I don't. Yeah. Because, like, right now, all my partners that I play with lead got a big bag, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm genuinely happy for them. So that makes me want to go out there and go even harder to get back up in the world. Like, seeing my friends like that, that motivates me. Like, I love seeing my friends being able to go out there and do their thing. Like I love, I love being able to see my best friend be playing BMF and play in the NFL. That's great. Like I love seeing it. Like I love seeing my partners go out there. Yeah, Larry Tony, I've been knowing Tony for a while. Negotiated his own deal as an offensive tackle. He's the highest paid in the NFL hmm. without an agent. Let him know how bad I am for that cat to do that, man. Let him know that man can help his mom out for the rest of his life. Hmm. That's that's generational hmm. money. Yeah. And you ain't got yeah. to share it. You yeah. changed the, the whole dynamic of your life. And I love seeing that. I love seeing my friends do stuff like that. That just makes me want to go even harder. Man, it's out there. I know it's out there for me. But at the same time, I can't think about that either, though. Mm. Then I'm just going to distract myself from my goals. Always worrying about seeing, like, I, they doing their thing. Ooh, man. I'm let them have it. I'm gonna sit out the way. I'm gonna get out the way right now. I'm, I'm gonna go on the ground. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go not being seen. But when I pop back up, oh, it's on. You finna catch hell. I'm telling you right now. Give me a couple months. When I get back out there, everybody catching hell. Yeah, you going your Aaron Rodgers, LeBron, zero thousand forty. Man, listen, <laughs> I've been doing it. My, I've been like that my whole life. I've been a loner my whole life. Like, I'm cool. I'm good with talking to people and all that cool. But ever since I was a kid, I've always spent time by myself. High school, I stayed in the house. I was yeah. always chill. Yeah, really still talking to myself. I'm talking to myself in the morning. Yeah, but I have to. I have to talk to myself. Like that's how I get through. When I get to hurting, bro, when I, I feel like I can't go, and I think about my mama, dog. I see my mama get up at five o'clock in the morning, and go clean warehouses. And clean up and, and do and do custodial and then go cook for hours and then don't come and then go cook again and don't get home to 10 11 at night. Man, my dad took me out as a kid to do painting jobs at damn 90 degree weather, woke me up at six o'clock in the morning and asked and, and got me out there painting as a kid and told me and told me, son, do you want to do this? I said no. He said, all right, then let's take your ass to the gym. Because mm. you don't want to be out here working and busting your tail, sweating like me. Go sweat because you want to do what you want to do, not because you have to do it. Go do something you want to do. That's amazing. My own. My mom actually is me. I love my mom. But my mom actually told me that after I was uh, going to real estate. I was out of I'm not gonna lie to you. I was really hurt. Kind of like old buddy that was on the phone. Mm-hmm. And I didn't want to come back and let her know that I didn't pass if I was trying to pass all the you know, I kept thinking about my family and my folks, how they went to college, they all injured, graduated, everybody got degrees, singing the tears, they love. I wasn't able to do that. So I felt that's, that's just not your time. It's just not your time right now. Exactly. That's what people don't realize. When you fail and you see like the whole world is just falling on you, that just means it wasn't your time. But her thing was, and more to your point, she was like, what is it that you really want to do? I want to be a part of media. Mm. I want to be one of those guys you see on TV or, or you hear them on the radio, one of those type of mm-hmm. personalities. And she ended up Meeting me uh, next to a friend that got me in touch with Mr. Lockett. Mm. Now you see me a few months later 
and I'm on their way to doing something that I love doing. You feel me? And like how you said, it wasn't my time, but you have to put that work in and you have to be vulnerable enough to ask for help in these situations too. I right. told someone how to swallow their pride. And a lot of people don't realize when you fail, now you know how to keep people. Oh, yeah. Go do something else. Not that I'm saying go do something else, but go at it from a different angle. But I hear Smitty bumping this music. <laughs> <laughs> Man, one of my big uh, OGs on. Um... He, he just got on my social media man. He uh, played in Mississippi State uh, for, for, for football. Coach on um, Coach Coon out there. Um, we got listen, he played out there. We got he, he, he ended up going to baseball and play. He got a he got a he got a ring with the Cardinals. Ooh. Uh, the baseball. Oh. No, no, with baseball. Oh. Louis. Mm-hmm. I knew the oh, world. I'm talking about a dog in all sports. I'm talking about he was all he was a great quarterback in high school. He ended up playing, playing cornerback at Mississippi State. Uh, he was a hell of a basketball player uh, at PHS. Uh, it, it wasn't nothing he couldn't do. Uh, and I watched him play from little lead on up. He was always, you know, uh, leading from the front. So, man, uh, shout out to Big Bro, man. He said he's going to be on the show with us one day, man. But listen. Listen, we got to take a break, though, man. Listen, we'll be right back with the ropes with TR3. Inspired by quality ingredients and excellent service, Acres Bakery has been a staple of Alabamian celebrations since 1998. It started as a small neighborhood bakery founded by Terry and Dottie Smith in Birmingham has expanded in locations throughout Alabama. Acres Bakery offers hot, delicious breakfast and lunch options, in addition to grab-and-go deli items. They offer a wide range of pastries and desserts, including cookies, bars, brownies, cakes, cupcakes, and much more, made entirely from scratch, using fresh, natural ingredients. Shop for gifts and merchandise in-store, including everyday and seasonal home or items. Acres is something for everyone. They also offer catering, shipping, and delivery options. Visit their website today at acresbakery.com or stop by a location near you. Walk On Sports Bistro puts everything they've got into bringing you game day with a taste of Louisiana. Making their mouth-watering, made-from-scratch Louisiana dishes or fan favorites like juicy burgers and fresh salads. All in front of 70-plus TVs with more than 40 beers on tap. Watching at home, Walk-Ons is available to go. Order online or through the Walk-Ons mobile app. Visit Walk-Ons in Tuscaloosa, Hoover, Montgomery, and Mobile. Walk-Ons Sports Bistro, more than a restaurant. Hey, Birmingham. Thinking about making your next move? The Randy Brooks team at Avast Realty is ready to help you with your real estate needs. If it's buying or selling, they have the tools and expertise to get you from for sale to sold. Whether you're looking in the city or want space to stretch out, call us at 205-965-6645. That's 205-965-6645. Real estate is key to building long-term wealth, so call the Randy Brooks team at 205-965-6645, and let's get you from for sale to sold today. 205-965-6645. Your dream has an address. Let's find it. New construction home searching could be challenging for buyers. The solution is the Avast Realty New Construction Home Team at 205 205- 905-965-6645. Their relationships with the top new home builders in the state means they have the most up-to-date information on new home inventory. And as your buyer agent, the Avast Realty New Home Construction Team will give you 1% of our commission to use towards your new home purchase. So put the knowledge, expertise, and professionalism of the team to work for you and contact the Avast Realty New Construction Team at 205-965-6645 today. Again, that's 205-965-6645. Call today because your new home is waiting. Commission share disclosed on sales contract and closing statement. Excuse me. Do you know how long halftime is for a Crimson Tide football game? 15 minutes? 12 minutes? Um, 18 minutes? I'm pretty sure 12 minutes. Actually, halftime in Alabama lasts 20 minutes. Any idea how long it takes to complete a mortgage application? An hour and a half. Uh, probably like three hours at least. It takes a couple days. I'm going to go with 45 minutes. Actually, at Assurance Financial, you can apply for a mortgage in less time than halftime. Find out more by visiting them at assurancemortgage.com. That's assurancemortgage.com. Equal housing opportunity, NMLS 708 
or Chase Brooks at 205-612-4046. Tax time is just around the corner. It would be a great time to purchase your new home. Capco Builders is a company who has been building manufactured homes for the last 20 years. If you are in the state of Alabama, go by and see one of our local retailers today. J&J Homes in Coleman, Repo Land in Albertville, Oxford Housing in Oxford, Freedom Homes in Jasper, Miller Homes in Opelika, Discount Home Sales in Enterprise, Spartan in Somerdale, Daystar in Sylacauga and Clanton, and always remember, Capco Builders, where quality comes first. In spite of our quality ingredients and excellent service, Taylor's Bakery has been a staple of Alabamian celebration since 1998. What started as a small neighborhood bakery, founded by Terry and Dottie Smith in Birmingham, has expanded to 10 locations throughout Alabama. Baker's Bakery offers hot, delicious breakfast and lunch options, in addition to grab-and-go deli items. They offer a wide range of pastries and desserts, including cookies, bars, brownies, cakes, cupcakes, and much more, made entirely from scratch, using fresh, natural ingredients. Shop for gifts and merchandise in store, including everyday and seasonal home or items. Bakers has something for everyone. They also offer catering, shipping, and delivery options. Visit their website today at edgersbakery.com or stop by a location near you. Walk on Sports Bistro puts everything they've got into bringing you game day with a taste of Louisiana. Dig into their mouth-watering, made-from-scratch Louisiana dishes or fan favorites like juicy burgers and fresh salads, all in front of 70-plus TVs with more than 40 beers on tap. Watching at home, Walk-Ons is available to go. Order online or through the Walk-Ons mobile app. Visit Walk-Ons in Tuscaloosa, Hoover, Montgomery, and Mobile. Walk-Ons Sports Bistro, more than a restaurant. Hey, Birmingham. Thinking about making your next move? The Randy Brooks team at Avast Realty is ready to help you with your real estate needs. If it's buying or selling, they have the tools and expertise to get you from for sale to sold. Whether you're looking in the city or want space to stretch out, call us at 205-965-6645. That's 205-965-6645. Real estate is key to building long-term wealth, so call the Randy Brooks team at 205-965-6645 and let's get you from for sale to sold today. 205-965-6645. Your dream has an address. Find it. Tax time is just around the corner. It would be a great time to purchase your new home. Capco Builders is a company who has been building manufactured homes for the last 20 years. If you are in the state of Alabama, go by and see one of our local retailers today. J&J Homes in Coleman, Repo Land in Albertville, Oxford Housing in Oxford, Freedom Homes in Jasper, Miller Homes in Opelika, Discount Home Sales in Enterprise, Spartan in Somerdale, Daystar in Sylacauga and Clanton, and always remember, Capco Builders, where quality comes first. Welcome back to the Rose of PR3. I'm not telling you that. I'm not telling you folks what I did on that weekend, man. <laughs> man, what you do this weekend? Man, we went to Tennessee, man. Yeah. We went to Tennessee, man. We had a tournament. <laughs> we, had a tournament. <laughs> we had a tournament. And uh, we ended up losing in, in, in the championship game, man, by a point. Last oh, second, man. man. Last second. Man, you didn't get a chance to explore that, uh, man? Listen, we ended up losing by a point. Uh, but I was I was happy with, what, with, with, with the way the kids fought. They fought. Um, it was a bigger team. Um, you actually 
you got a whole bunch of basketball players that that can hoop. You know what I'm saying? But we got we you can get into AAU, you you're talking about a whole bunch of hoopers. Mm. And so they do this. Yeah, this this they, this is all year round for them now. I mean, mm. like how we can take a break and you know play football, baseball, basketball, or, you know run track. They do oh, this all man. year. And so for us to fight and come in second and the way that they lost. That's impressive. Like I wasn't upset about the move. Like now they went out there and lost and didn't fight. I would have been hot with You that. gotta get them back. Yeah, like they they been listening. I'm talking about a slug fish, bro. They were going at it, bro. Hey. That's like they were going at it. When they had some of them, I had a couple of YouTube kids on there too, man. They what? had a little YouTube videos. They like, made a little old YouTube uh, yeah. mixtape. Like, he's so funny, man. They had them little YouTube video kids on there. On there. And they played pretty good too, man. But we went back to back, man. man. Besides, you yeah. know, besides the tragedy, I mean, that's, just, man, that's a good feeling, man. But, yeah. Well, you get chest explore though? Man, uh, got to see a little bit. Got to see a little bit, man. I know I'd be going back. This is my first time going. I was culturally shocked. I didn't know what. Wait, yeah. what? I didn't know Nash- Nashville was, was. I would think Nashville dirt roads. Oh, wow, I don't man, think that that's was, country music. But I'm house is yeah. Crazy. Like, what? That's yeah, country you know what that. He didn't think me. He would go for. And I'm a, and I'm a, and I'm an hour and a half away. Reggie had a lot going on. I might have, but I, I would have shot you out there because there's some nice ladies out there, man. I like that shit. Mm. Yeah, man. Yeah, I wasn't going out there. I was there for the AU tournament. You know, that's so, fine. Really? I could do both. <laughs> <laughs> I'm single, man. Ladies, <laughs> okay. Look at ladies. Oh, ladies, ladies, ladies. Here you go. Ladies. Let them know. Hold on. Let me introduce Reggie. Hold on. No, you ain't got to do that. Okay. I'm going to do it myself. Okay, go ahead. You know, 6'2, mm-hmm. tons of fun. I like cool lady honey buns. Get at me, ladies. Mm. Oh so, yeah, let them know. Go back to long walk. <laughs> Man, you know I like long walks on the beach. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm spitting right now. I'm in the game right now. Somebody didn't get the bag. We gonna get me a tissue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wrong with the dude, man. I'm afraid, man, man, everybody can't be Michael, man. Everybody can't be Michael. You know, <laughs> everybody can't be Mike Trent. What's wrong with him? Man. Somebody got to be Joe. You can. I'm going to push you, man. Come on, Michael. Let me push you. Oh. Who am I? This man is crazy. Let's look over your shoulders, buddy. Oh. Come on. Oh, no, no. He's singing the song wrong. What he said, Jack, you don't never stop my music, Jack. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. Let's look over your This is how we do it. Man, listen, it is funny. spring break for my kids right now, man. I ain't she she is, and the daughter is mad at you still. No, she good. She, man, she good. She good. Yeah, mm-hmm. she understands. Yeah, that's, that's one thing I can say about my kids. Like, it I, took like, a long enough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah it took a that is scissors in your spirits like Nick told you. But I think what really got her, she started looking at those, those videos. Online. I bet you oh. had no choice. You stuck it in her face. Yeah, baby, look. Nah, she <laughs> seen it before <laughs> I told her. I asked her, I said, um, so you ain't been saying what you have no skin talk. See what I'm saying? Um, she knew she knew she knew she knew she knew Um, I said, yeah, you know, you you know saying Thompson. Yeah, I yeah, I I understand. I do. She's good. Uh, my younger daughter, she's a little bit more short. Yeah. Like she he's earthy. You know what I'm saying? Like I, like, I know my younger daughter. She, she's, she was born in the '70s. Oh, she, oh, I mean. she hit to the game. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, she, the, she the one. Oh, yeah. so. Oh, guys, this is nice Yeah. She got. She, <laughs> so even when we're she got like, like bandanas. Or, I don't even know if they're bandanas, but she got like, got sneaky rugs over here. Oh, um, what? Bandanas on the rooftop. Got grass on the top. Oh, she looks in the purple hair. That is hard. Yeah. I'm not going to lie to you. That's all. She got a record player. Like, even... <laughs> it's like, we've been messing up. 
you know, like, the like, vinyls? Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, why do you want that? You don't have the record player. I get back, we get back home. We got a whole record player. It's all the wrong that's hard. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm kind of jealous. So she, <laughs> yeah, she's like a fat, like she done took them down from the video games. She done straight them and put them on her wall. She done made a design on it. And she done took them on my, my, my car, my playing card. She done put them to a certain place on the wall. Like it's almost like butterflies. No daughter. No little creator. Yeah, that man. is fire. Amazing. It's amazing. Like on one side, people are all this. Yeah, yeah, the anime. I, 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 I love Dragon Ball Z growing up, but I can't get into the new anime. I'm a huge anime fan, actually. I can't. I just, huge. it just, it just don't. Some of it's stupid. I'm not gonna lie to you. Some of it pretty stupid. Man, look at. I ain't even gave it a but, chance to though. I'm but she, it, it's certain. It's certain. I feel like it ain't gonna be like Dragon Ball Z. It's, it's certain ones. Yeah, it's cool, but anime is all over the place. Yeah, it is. Like. I can't. I can't. It's a too, I can't go in too depth into it, but I, it's an anime club in Houston where I live, and my my people uh, took me in the. Yeah, I won't be back. <laughs> you heard what he said. Mm-hmm. Do that again. <laughs> Do that again, Smith. <laughs> hey, don't that's how. Uh, don't ask me how I got in that trend. Just know I walked in. Did you pay a fee? Mm. No, I ain't pay no fee. Are you a member? No, I ain't no member. Are you a guest? Yeah. Mm. <sighs> that sounded like Joe when he was in uh, Marty Wall. But the thing about it, though, <laughs> I didn't even know. They was like, we going to this little bar downtown. They never said it was anime. They ain't say it was, they ain't say it was Nathan. I wow. walked in. There was a lot of sweating going on. <laughs> hey man, I'm sweating in there, my boy. Man, look here. Man, I got what's got right here. Listen, man, we done had a great show today, man. Listen, all of this. Everything. Oh, sweetie, play that one more time for me. Play that one more time. I don't even speak that. Hey, you know the, but you know the running back that played the Lions. Yeah, he in, Jamal, he in, yeah, he's into yeah. it. But you know who else is Eddie Damn Lacey. That makes sense. Eddie Lacey. Yeah, that that's that's wow. Eddie all over. Like yeah, that makes sense. And um, and to be for real, it TC might be into that too. Terrence Cody because he TC is a you big know we've had a fantastic show. <laughs> character like that. That's hey, 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 before we go, hit that thing one more time for me. <laughs> <laughs> so Z Dog just said, uh, said uh, Reggie's running around in bars and costumes. <laughs> Who said that? Z Dog just said Reggie's running around in Houston, bars, <laughs> dancing in costumes. You better not. So listen, we got to take no, a break. No, 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 no. Oh. Hey, we ain't taking a break. We, 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 we got to go. Hey, let me tell you something. <laughs> you got footage of that, my boy. I get. I, you see, you got footage of me running around in bars with a costume on. I got a prize for you. But if you can't find it, I ain't got nothing for you. What's the costume? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, what dress up as? Because I ain't, I, I ain't no fairy. <laughs> <laughs> but look, man, we had a great show. Man. We got another great show tomorrow. We at Walk On tomorrow. Y'all come out there, man. See us live, man. We'll be there. Um, we're going to have a lot of fun. Funny Man will be there. Mike McCoy will be there. Um, Langham, he will be there tomorrow. And it'll be me and Red on there. And so, man, y'all going to get there. us something to eat. Yeah, we always do. Y'all going to get y'all something to eat. Y'all going to have fun with us, man. So, listen, you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, Spotify, Dime Insider. And we also come back on at 8 for Smitty. We have the replay in Tile 109. So, you can listen to Encore Edition if you missed us from 8 to 10 in Tile 109 in Tuscaloosa. And and it's the walk on off two eighty. Yep. So listen, man, we love y'all, man. We we're blessed to have y'all, man. And like I tell y'all every day, you are your way out.
Inspired by quality ingredients and excellent service, Acres Bakery has been a staple of Alabamian celebrations since 1998. What started as a small neighborhood bakery, founded by Terry and Dottie Smith in Birmingham, has expanded to 10 locations throughout Alabama. Acres Bakery offers hot, delicious breakfast and lunch options, in addition to grab-and-go deli items. They offer a wide range of pastries and desserts, including cookies, bars, brownies, cakes, cupcakes, and much more, made entirely from scratch, using fresh, natural ingredients. Shop for gifts and merchandise in-store, including everyday and seasonal home decor items. Acres has something for everyone. They also offer catering, shipping, and delivery options. Visit their website today at acresbakery.com or stop by a location near you. Thank you for five W Y D E F M Porto one twelve sixty A M W Y D E ninety three four seven W D J C F M E three Birmingham and ninety five four three W P P seven E K Birmingham. Deadly tornadoes sweep through Mississippi, and what animal do you think kills the most humans? This is Josh with your Crawford Media News. According to the Mississippi Emergency Management Agency, twenty three people have died, with dozens injured and four missing as of Saturday morning. This is due to a large tornado that swept through the state Friday night. The largest tornado rolled through Rolling Fork, Mississippi. The agency has also stated they are currently having a meeting with information regarding sheltering and feeding operations coming soon. Quote, this loss will be felt in these towns forever. Please pray for God's hand to be over all who lost family and friends, said Governor Kate Green. Several businesses in the Birmingham area are being renovated. One is currently underway at the AMC Summit 16 Theaters in Birmingham. Work on the outer facade as well as temporary fencing can be seen from the parking lot at the theater, which remains open during the project. Leadscreen.com reported last year that the project will cost a little more than $5 million. Petri Construction is in charge of the project, which will reseed and refresh the theater's 16 auditorium and update the floor, concession area, and box office. The original AMC Summit 16 opened back in 1997. Another Birmingham area business doing a renovation is the Target store in Trust. According to their website, Target is remodeling more than 1,000 of its Target stores across the U.S. The two entrances are being designed around ease and the other around inspiration. The ease entrance might have features like drive-up parking spaces, an online order pickup counter, self checkout lanes and grab and go grocery and essentials right there as you walk in. Guests can also expect elements that will enhance the shopping experience, like brighter lighting, a more modern feel, and dynamic vignettes with the latest seasonal trends. And the beauty department will transform into a specialty shop that inspires and invites guests to try the product. And from USA Today, according to a 2015 poll from Ipsos, about half of Americans said they were absolutely terrified of sharks and almost 40% they were scared to swim in the ocean because of sharks. But according to the Florida Museum of Natural History, there were only 11 shark-related fatalities worldwide in 2021. But when it comes to dangerous animals, which species kills the most? The animal that kills the most humans per year is actually a mosquito. Mosquitoes can transmit life-threatening diseases like malaria and dengue, and the World Health Organization estimates mosquitoes that carry those diseases kill 725,000 people a year. Mosquitoes carry many threatening diseases like Rift Valley fever, yellow fever, Zika, malaria, Japanese encephalitis, and West Nile. Other insects like fleas, lice, and ticks also transmit similar diseases. This has been Josh with your Crawford Media News. We call it the Bible Bus. Get on or off anytime you want as we travel through the Bible. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear unto my cry. Hold not thy peace at my tears, for I'm a stranger with thee and a sojourner, as all my fathers were. I we like to get in our little corner down here and fix it up. I think it's going to be permanent, and we get our little blanket and we get our little false security down here. May I say to you, the best we are, we are children and a stranger down here. And that's the way we ought to live this life, friend. And we're journeying. We seek a city. We build and make us fall. Join a faithful company of people on the Bible bus as we go through the Bible.
Find out more at ctb.org. Be sure to listen to 